Today on Marcus Picks, a diffuser that sets up in seconds can be used as a softbox but collapses much smaller, expands much bigger, and costs a lot less. A lot of times when photographers shoot outdoors in bright sunlight, they use diffusers like this. They're kind of bulky to set up the frame especially, and uh, they're kind of, they blow in the wind and they just take up a lot of space. Now I know there's also this kind here, and this is good. I'm gonna make a video about this. I like this one in particular. Unless you have a human being holding it, it's really kind of awkward to, you know, hold it without flapping in the wind. And it's just, if it's just you and the model, and you don't have a, you know, unless you have some really heavy duty light stands with some heavy duty cement blocks to hold it down, this isn't very optimal either. So, I'm going to show you what I like to do for a diffuser. And after I show you what I like to use as a diffuser, I'm going to show you how to use it as a hybrid to take it even a step further. Because a lot of times when you use diffused light, there's a f like this, just diffuse the sunlight. There's a few problems. One of them is this. So here I am in the sun. I'm going to step behind a diffuser here. So now, I mean, I've got kind of soft light because I'm in front of a diffuser, but look how dark my face got. The background is still correctly exposed, but if I expose for my face, the background goes a little too light. So what we need to be able to do is correctly expose for the background and then bring the two stops of light back onto my face. Now, what a lot of people say to do is just use a reflector. Yeah, that's fine, but again, you're dealing with the wind and how are you going to hold the reflector? You need an assistant. And also notice how the lighting on my face is its kind of weird. I mean, it's, it's kind of smooth and flat, but it's kind of boring and kind of weird. Like, this isn't really professional-looking lighting. So, how do we bring the exposure of the sky correctly, two stops back into my face, and make the lighting look more professional? Well, it's pretty obvious to put an extra two stops on here. We're just going to add extra light through here, turning this essentially into a big softbox. Okay, first a shot with the background exposed properly. And now we turn the flash on. Now we're talking. Yeah, perfect. Again, this is just the diffuser with no flash. I'm exposing for the sky. Now let's turn the flash on. Look at that. You really can't get a dark sky unless you add more light to the diffuser. But if you don't want or need a dark sky, you can lighten the exposure and use some of the existing diffused sunlight coming through the diffuser, which fills in the shadows more. So you're using half sunlight, half flash. And that has a nice, soft, less contrasty look. Okay, so what if we could simplify this whole setup, make it more easy and fun to use, more compact and more transportable. This thing is a hassle to set up and everything. It's big, it's bulky, it's, it's just not, this is not an easy thing to, or quick to set up. What I want to use is one light stand and something that does the same, is as big as this, but sets up in a matter of seconds. So uh, that's what this is about. So the first step is to get rid of this light stand. Life just got a lot easier already. Ta-da! This is the fastest setting up diffuser ever. This thing is... Look at that. It's already set up. How amazing is that? Just a matter of seconds. Now you're going to say, well, what's so special about that? It's just a diffusion umbrella. First of all, it's creating nice shade for her. Look at how lit up it is already. And look at the lighting it's giving her. Let me see your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the cool thing about this is you don't have to have the flash very bright because it's already got a whole bunch of light coming through the umbrella as a diffuser. So you just have to add a little bit more light from the flash, basically two stops more, at least, if unless you want to darken the background even more than two to four stops. But this is already lighting her up quite a bit. All right, so this is just sunlight coming through the umbrella. It softens the light a lot, but it takes the light level down. So we need a little help brightening her back up. So let's turn on the strobe. Big difference. They look so much better now. Now these look like pictures from an ad. The face is more shape. It's more dynamic. If you turn this around, you still got this thing acting as a diffuser, but now you're using the umbrella as a diffuser for the sun and a reflector for the strobe. Let's see if that looks any different. I'm going to not change the uh, camera settings first. It's not as bright, so you got to increase the flash power. I think I like it better the other way. Let's turn it back around. Yeah, I think I like the look of this better for some reason. It just has a nicer look. 
But there are times where you need to turn an umbrella the other way, and the determining factor for that is wind. This kind here is totally flat, and it will catch the wind, because it's just flat, no matter which side you use. This thing, if the wind's coming from this direction, it will go around the umbrella. If this is aiming this way, the wind catches this, it's going to blow over a lot easier. So aim this into the wind. So if the wind's coming from that direction, going in this way, have the umbrella face that way. And if the wind is coming from this direction, aim this that way. So always have this facing into the wind. If you use it as a reflector, you're going to need a couple stops more power. I try to use it this way whenever possible because it uses less power. Now, I know some of you are going to say, well, why don't you just use a softbox? Because that's kind of what that's doing, right? I'm using it as a, as a softbox for diffusion. Well, a softbox is a, is a lot bulkier, bigger, heavier than this. This is so lightweight. This sets up in a matter of, look at that. It's set up in two seconds. A softbox is not set up in two seconds. This thing doesn't cost as much. If it breaks, no big deal compared to a softbox. This thing has so many uh, benefits over, I'm gonna make another video about umbrellas over softboxes, but this thing, it's serving kind of the same purpose as a softbox, but it's also, if you don't, you don't even need a flash. You can just use it as a diffuser. So look at the size of this thing. This is a normal diffuser, right? Four feet by four feet. You know what a softbox this size costs? How bulky it is, how heavy it is, how awkward it is to set up, how much weight it puts on the front of the light. It's a, just the logistics of using a softbox this size is ridiculous. Using a diffuser, okay, if you use it as a diffuser, a sun diffuser, this thing takes so much time to set up. It's, it's, it's just awkward. It's bulky. It's just a, <laughs> this thing is a hassle to set up. It doesn't break down as small or quickly. This thing is just as big as this. And it sets up in two seconds. If you're thinking of using a diffuser, just use a diffusion umbrella. It sets up in two seconds instead of using stuff like this. So I, you know, I, I still use stuff like this, but I'm just saying I like to find the quickest, easiest, most lightweight, cheapest, most portable. Carrying one of these is nothing. This is, this is just a little umbrella. It weighs nothing. It's easy to lug around. Look how fast it sets up. You can have literally, there, it's set up. Took me two seconds. This thing did not take two seconds to set up. So that's what I wanted to make this video about was when you're out in harsh sunlight, Okay, so here, here, hold this. Here's my point right here. You see how the wind is catching that? Just aim it in this direction towards the wind. And now it's not going to fly around as much. So yeah, this, is, this thing is five feet across, but no, notice the wind. It's aerodynamic now. The wind is going this way. So that's a whole nother benefit over using stuff like this. This, this you got to fight the wind. <laughs> this thing you don't, even though this is bigger. So many benefits. I can't name them all in one video. So there you go, folks. There's my little video about diffusion umbrellas. <laughs> uh, used as a hybrid for diffusion, strobes, as a softbox replacement. Lightweight, small. Are you making fun of me? No. So there you go. I hope uh, this opened your eyes a little bit more. I don't know. I like to come up with... I like to really think about alternative ways. Like, what are the challenges? And then what can we do instead of what normal other people do? Because I'm not normal. Well, anyway, I hope you got something out of it. See you in the next video. Normal. You're not normal. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,